Hi, I am Joe, your AI-generated newscaster. Another week has passed, and here are the most important events in the cyber world. A well-known hacker, Intel broker, claimed to have breached the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services and gained access to troves of sensitive data. According to the hacker, he used weak credentials, admin, and password one to access the database. However, the next day the service responded, saying that the breach did not really happen. According to the statement, a test base full of fake data was accessed, and no harm has been done. The story was broken by the VX Underground Twitter account, which later apologized for misinforming the public. South Korean technology giant Samsung was not as successful. Its source code and a lot of other internal data were leaked and by none other but the company's own employees. They gave the data to ChatGPT while asking for help with their tasks. Since the chatbot uses its conversations to learn and improve, the data cannot be retracted and is a part of ChatGPT forever. OpenAI, the company behind the chatbot, explicitly asks the users not to share sensitive data. However, apparently that was not enough. And now onto some actual hacking. But before that, an important shift in the world of cyber criminals. Genesis Market, one of the major hacker forums, was shut down by the FBI. A joint operation, codenamed Cookie Monster, was run by the US Department of Justice, Europol, and some private contractors. Together they managed to seize the domain of Genesis Market and arrest 120 people connected to the site. This is the second major hacker forum to be closed within a month since the shutdown of breach forums a short while ago. Now, a follow-up on an older story, which saw hackers breaching BMW France and holding its data ransom. The company said it was actually not affected and only some minor information about its local dealers was stolen. BMW Group told Cyber News that the breach was located in a dealership, which is a separate legal entity from BMW France, and that the breach has since been closed. In another bit of good news, the U.S. Department of Justice said it seized over $112 million from cryptocurrency scammers after uncovering their scheme. The department took over six accounts that were used to launder money. The funds were obtained through swindling, such as dating scams, where scammers gained people's trust before convincing them to invest into fraudulent schemes. And now for something a bit less cheery. Data of over 130 Uber drivers has been leaked, according to the U.S. authorities. It includes social security numbers and other sensitive details, and has been stolen from a law firm that works with Uber. While consequences of the leak may be disastrous for the affected people, the leak itself is really small by Uber standards. Back in 2016, the company leaked the data of over 57 million users, and in 2022, parts of its code were stolen during a cyber attack. Another hack involves Procter & Gamble, the American health and hygiene giant. It became yet another victim of the CL0P, or CLOP, cyber criminal gang which put up the company's internal data for sale. Procter & Gamble confirmed that one of its subsidiaries was hacked and that a well-known go-anywhere vulnerability was used. Klopp is a Russia-linked ransomware gang which claimed dozens of victims in recent weeks. Some of its most prominent targets include Shell, Bombardier, Virgin, and other large international conglomerates. So, here's another recap of Cyber World Events of the Week. This has been Joe, an AI that is never going to leak your data, and I will see you soon.